Hello there, my name is Trusted Kitty Fox, aka Player Frank18, and welcome to another video. We are going to be doing the Blender Texture tutorial. After three to four or five years later, apparently. So, there was a lot of comments. I've read every single one. I am 100% jo not joking. I had to read through comments and comment where I needed. But this is the tutorial that should fix all of those issues. I've gotten multiple, um questions on things. I've texted them best I can, so you have to look at the old comments on that video, but we're, if I have any problems from those comments, I'll let you know. So, you highlight all of those things and you delete, hit the delete key. So, what we're going to do now is go to File, Import, FBX. Love the kind of stuff. You never need Cat's plugin anymore. That's just absurd that I even would rather do it. Now, find your avatar. I'm just tired, to be honest. I basically just woke up doing a vi wanting to do a video to get it out of the way because it's been bothering me that I haven't made this video and I've been forgetting for months and months to do this video. So, I guess it's finally time to do the video and I'm barely capable of keeping my eyes open. I do not know how I do it, honestly. I don't know what Rex to use or what avatar to pick. I just need to pick one for you guys, and that's it. And... FBX rigs, 1.6, whatever works your fancy, though. I always do the one mesh, because it's, you know, nice. Huh, there you go. So, it, most of the time when you import this, it'll look like this. Just plain white. So, we're going to go to select model, modeling, and we're going to go over here to object mode. We're going to select the avatar, and then go to edit mode. This will cause this to be highlighted. Once that's highlighted, go to texture paint. So, a comment told me that, one of the comments I heard was that you guys have the avatar fully pink, and you, and you can't texture on it. No problem. That is a simple solution. You just make a new texture. You pick whatever p pixel length you want and set it to alpha, color black, whatever fits your fancy. And hit bam. Now that allows you to have a free texture. But oh no, it's not showing up. Well, there's a solution for that too. So you would have to go to the material that is, you know, obviously in this section where it says material. Because it's the only thing that looks like a material icon. But people are new and this is for all ages and all specific skill types so I'll have to put my old video down in the video description so you're gonna go to where texture is and go down to image texture and then what you're going to do is select one that already exists that would be your untitled see how body mat body mat and I just changed that to being textured that allows us to work on the avatar now and I believe that now comment has been resolved. Now to what we're going to how you how you texture. Now you can change the color from either over here or over here, depending on which Blender version you're using. I'm using the newest version as the latest of this video, and shabang. But what if you want to to have symmetry and you want to be able to have it on both ends and make cool textures and stuff, right? So you'll actually drag this one little menu out. And you'll go down to symmetry. You select the X key. This will do it on the X axis. And what's going to happen now when I do this, you get cool stuff like this. Cool, right? But what if you want to make it even cooler? Well, there is, I haven't done this in a long time, but there is such thing as space, spacing. Now, I don't know how to do this anymore, but I believe it's the stroke tool. But stabilize stroke. Yep, there it is. And when I do this, it creates this little line for you, so you have better accuracy. So then, let's say I want to get really detailed. I want to go real detailed. So we're going to get like a real brown here. I'm going to go with a really weird brown, I think. That's a really bad brown, so let me try to find something that, you know. You know, let's go purple. Screw it. So I'm just going to draw this entire avatar into purple colors. Screw it. There he goes. Sha yaw. Alright. So now you got a 
basic front part that's basically all purple, then you got a black. But you can just go and just get it all done. My old computer could not do this, by the way, from the old video. So it's a good thing I, can, I now have a better computer after five to six years. And I can actually do that. Now let's say, oh no, I want to I want to add another color. I don't know how to do layers yet. I'll have to figure that out down the line. But I do not use this at all anymore. So you guys can use it if you want. So we'll do this and get it all nice and, you know, scaff, scraffy, scraffy. I mean, I even probably will work on the texture and substance after finishing it and then actually do something cool with it. But let's say you want to evenize that. Now, the problem is I don't remember the color I used for the base color. So we're kind of out of luck. Because without layers, you can't usually sculpt it. But other than that, this is how you texture in Blender in modern era. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for my rambling. And thank you. Have a nice day. And thank you for your support.